These were my first steps into a new world. The beginning of a fascinating journey. A journey of hope and expectations, dreams and aspirations. Driven by the spirit of entrepreneurship, two enterprising Scotsmen, Stephen George Barmer and Alexander Laurie, sowed the seeds of this company at Kolkata on 1st February 1867. History goes, a coin was tossed, Barmer won, and thus was born Barmer Laurie. From tea to transporting, insurance to banking, trading to manufacturing. There was hardly any business Barmalori did not delve into, growing stronger at every step of its remarkable corporate journey. In India's march towards self-reliance, in the early 1970s, Barmalori became a government company. And today, it is a Mini Ratna Category 1 public sector enterprise, contributing handsomely to the growth and prosperity of the nation, along with its six joint ventures. Over the years, the courage and wisdom of many great men have steered the destiny of Bamalori, turning every challenge into opportunity. And my journey continued into the world of this amazing multi-activity, multi-technology, multi-location conglomerate with global footprints. From industrial packaging, greases and lubricants, performance chemicals in the manufacturing sector to tours and travel, logistics infrastructure and services, and refinery and oil field services in the service sector. Starting operations in 1944, today with six plants spread across the country, and a highly automated, state-of-the-art plant coming up in Western India. The SBU Industrial Packaging manufactures steel barrels of various specifications to meet the bulk packing requirements of diverse customers. Superior product quality and manufacturing facilities close to the customer's plants have enabled Barmalori to stay ahead of competition and emerge as the market leader. Barmalori pioneered the manufacturing of greases in India in 1937. Today, Barmalori has emerged as a significant player in the lubricant industry with its four modern plants manufacturing greases, oils and speciality lubricants marketed under the brand name of Barmarol. With world-class R&D facilities, the Application Research Laboratory in Kolkata provides the technological edge by constantly innovating new products and lubrication solutions. Besides carrying out frontier research to develop biodegradable and eco-friendly lubricants. From lab to plant, Barmalori's entry into leather chemicals business was testimony to this adage. In the mid-80s, manufacturing of leather chemicals started in Chennai, jointly with CLRI. Today, Barmalori's range of synthetic fat liquors, in which it is the market leader, and the Sintans are marketed to the leather tanneries across the country under the brand name of Balmol. As one of the largest travel and tour agent in the country, Barmalori provides domestic and international travel and ticketing and tourism services to its clients. Barmalori, with its more than 50 branches spread across the country, online travel and tour portal and 24 by 7 call center is at the customer's service round the clock. 
Bamalori's logistics business dates back to the 19th century, with shipping being one of the first activities of the company. With a strong national network, with three container freight stations at Kolkata, Mumbai and Chennai, along with warehousing facilities and more than 20 branch offices, as also a global network of associates in more than 40 countries, Barmalori offers total logistic solutions for all types of cargo. As a socially conscious organization, Barmalori not only takes care of its various stakeholders, but also continuously strives to uplift the disadvantaged sections of the society through various CSR activities. It did not take me very long to realize that this is not just any other company. I realized that business blended with passion is not always a myth. With Bamalori, it's a reality. We are